I feel like I really dislike filming introductions to Plan With Me's because it's redundant and the same thing every single time. But like, what can you do? You got to introduce the topic that you're talking about. You got to get people excited. You got to clutch them in. You got to clickbait them in, if you will. I don't have a clickbait, but here we are. So hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have yet another plan with me to share with you all. Woo! We're two for two for the Holly Jolly Kids. So this week I am planning for the week of November 18th to November 24th using this Holly Jolly Pastel Pink Kit called Season to Sparkle from Scribble Prince Co. I thought it would be a really cute kit to use right before Thanksgiving. I have a lot of fun Holly Jolly kits to use during the month of December. So it's nice to use this kind of slightly more subtle one, slightly pink. It's actually not slightly pink. It is very pink. Would not use the word slightly with it, but it's very pretty and I like it. Kind of wish it would have snowed just so it matched the kit, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. It is just a spread after all. So yeah, I'm going ahead and putting down my two 15 millimeter bottom washies. Well, one's not a 15 millimeter. I just ended up cutting it. All my full boxes, my bougie boxes and my glitter headers. I'm going to put those down. And I said, I was going to, I feel like I was going to say, I'll be right back. But like, there's still so much of this and it's going to be a lot of quiet space. So I guess not space, quiet, quiet. What is it called? I learned this in public speaking. Oh, dead air. My professor in public speaking always said that people are afraid of dead air. I am one of those people who's afraid of dead air. That's why we fill it with things like um and like, stuff like that. So you should take pauses when you speak, but I'm taking very awkward pauses because I'm laying on my stomach to film the voiceover, to record the voiceover for this. And for some reason, it makes me out of breath, probably because I'm pushing on my diaphragm. Oh, but you know, what do I know? I only have taken basic AMP. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I think I'm just genuinely stalling, but we can move on to the sidebar now. So for the sidebar, I put down the full box with that cute girl and a bow in her hair to cover up the thankful thought. And then I went ahead and put down two habit trackers with a, a vitamins script sticker, um, foiled sticker in one of them. This was just a custom that Andrea had gotten for me. So unfortunately it is not for sale. But then after that, those two habit trackers, I put down a mini ombre heart checklist to keep track of my nighttime routine. And then after that, I put down a square box where I like to put something down for the week. But this week I like I didn't fill this in until the end of the week. I didn't fill in the whole spread until the end of the week, but I was just like I got to it and I'm like, I don't even know what to put in it. It was just a lot of studying. It was my friend's um, bridal shower this week, but it wasn't like the whole week. So like it got its own half box on Sunday. So I was like, I don't know what to put in. And I just put an ugh munchkin with a munchkin with like its head just on the desk, which is appropriate because it's like kind of like school related. So I thought it was just perfect. I didn't even write anything. I just smacked it like right in the center because like, it would just needs no explanation. So then after that, I grabbed a pattern piece of washi and a to-do header and placed that on top and then closed off the sidebar with an ombre heart checklist and went ahead and filled everything out. All the pens, tools, and stickers I use will be listed down below in the description, all the shops and everything like that. But if you do have a specific question, I'll be more than happy to answer it if you leave it in the comments down below. So am I going to stall again? Like how fast can Jessica write? Apparently not quick enough. Go, go, Jess. Go, go, Jess. What is even in my sidebar for this week? Did I do everything? I did. I completed my whole little to-do list. Sometimes I just don't fill it and I have to move things for like four weeks, but eventually I get it done. So yay for completed sidebars. Now we're moving on to day by day and part of me thinks I should just go get coffee because I'm very tired. Like, I know I sound hyper. To a lot of you, I sound very hyper and kind of neurotic. I am all of those things, but I'm very tired. I think it comes from being tired. I just feel like I am not eloquent enough to speak about my planner today. But I'm going to do it anyway, because if not now, when? And I will just be the same tomorrow. So, 
<laughs> thank you for coming to my TED talk. So the first thing on Monday was I had coffee. I always have coffee, but I think I needed to fill that space. I didn't go to Starbucks because I always put I went to Starbucks. Maybe I got coffee at Aubon Pan or something. Probably. Yeah, I'm more I'm less likely to write an Aubon Pan if I get to use this morning coffee sticker than like if I get to put a Starbucks run in. So on Monday I had yet another competency. It never ends. I thought I was gonna have a break between two of them, like my last two, but it turns out it, it's not. It just looked like a bigger break because we were going between months. So yeah, I've had a competency every Monday for, um, it's going to be for about a month, but it's fine. I'm just so like, let's just get this done, which I think annoys a lot of my classmates, but like, there's no sense in freaking out about it. They all know what they're doing. They just need to really calm down. But I had my competency on the universal curette, which I did very well on like to the point where my professor left my cubicle and I was like whoa like did I do that that's that's pretty flipping good I was like very impressed with myself what did I get on it I got like a b plus around there which like is very impressive for me so then after that I got home and I took a bath and watched some of high school musical the musical the series um it's a really like not great show but it's also because of that like I really enjoy watching it like I don't know what they're gonna do once the musical is over and then I'm kind of hoping they don't stretch it out because it'll get boring and I will stop watching it but for now it's adorable and I'm intrigued so while I was watching High School Musical the musical the series I fell asleep like I didn't even I wasn't sick surprisingly um, I didn't feel very tired like not any more tired than I usually do and for some reason, I fell asleep at 4 p.m. And then I woke up at like 10, ate dinner, and then went to bed at midnight again. It, I don't know. It had my mom really worried because I just, like, I didn't, like, usually she knows, like, I'll, like, she'll expect a nap if I said I don't feel good or I tell her I'm really tired, but, like, I didn't. So I don't know. And then while I was napping, I got my presents for Andrea and my friend Gabby delivered to me my mom brought it into my room so it was double delivered and I just wrote it in on this fancy label I don't I like like that box looks kind of empty like that middle section of that day but like nothing else happened I legitimately slept for like 13 hours no okay like 12 hours collectively that's a long time to sleep very, very long. So moving on to Tuesday, I had a quiz. It was a pop quiz, like so pop quiz that we like everybody kind of just woke up after the lecture. My, my professor taught and taught. She usually gives us a quiz in the beginning of class, but no, she just like started teaching and I'm like, oh, I guess we're not getting this quiz. And then seven minutes, and I remember this very accurately, seven minutes before class ended, she's like, okay guys. And we're like all packing up and she's like, time for a quiz. And we're like, what? why um she was really frantic and then she caught people cheating which made her more frantic and so she started kicking people out of the classroom not people who were cheating but like everybody she was like okay I see wandering eyes like we need to go you need to go and I was like what is happening right now luckily for me I finished testing quizzes pretty quickly because I either know it or I don't I'm very I stick to that um one of my professors said it was a little problematic that I finished my test first but I've only done poorly on two exams out of, like, if I count, I think there's been about 35 exams and quizzes. So she was like, you need to pay attention more. And I'm like, me finishing first does not have anything to do with how well I do on this test. Uh, yeah, again, second tech talk. Thank you for coming to it. So I had a quiz and then I went to go get a bagel with some of my classmates. We went to a bodega near my school. And then um, like 15, like 45 minutes later, we went to Cava for lunch, which is like a Mediterranean fast food Chipotle style restaurant. And it's so good. So we ate a lot that day. We were hungry. We're always hungry. And especially because like I didn't really eat dinner the night before. Like I hadn't even eaten lunch it was, I was starving. So I had all that food in a span of like two hours. And then I wrote, I'm so sleepy because on this day I was really tired. I also could have had something to do with all the food that I ate and I was just going into a food coma, but I digress. And then after that, on my way home, I 
started to try reading a book, which is The Bookish Life of Nina Hill. I got through 20 pages of it, and then I'm just like, I'm so tired. But I read a little bit, so I guess that was good. My brain worked for a little bit. Then I got home and, of course, watched another decom, which was right on track. It was that story about the Ender sisters, and they, like, do the, the racing. I don't know what it's called. Speed racing? It's not speed racing, is it? Drag racing. Yeah, they do drag racing. Not like the RuPaul kind, but like the actual like drag racing kind. And then I just spent the rest of the night studying and taking notes also while watching right on track. But um, yeah, because it's just taking notes. So I didn't like really have to pay attention. Does that make any sense? That doesn't make sense. Like how are you studying if you're not paying attention? But I ended up studying for the rest of the night after the movie was over because I had to learn how teeth were formed. This is a very confusing process. There's a lot of steps and I wasn't tested on any of them I was so upset um oh yeah also like the quiz was canceled on this day and I spent all weekend studying for it and I didn't need to waste my time bummer but then I guess I guess oh wait that was it that was Tuesday sorry being really like all over the place today and I apologize but moving on to Wednesday I published my first plan with me in forever which I posted last week so if you guys haven't seen that go check it out and then I put down okay so I put down this fancy label. I, I really, like, I had space to mark it, so I took advantage of it. And basically, I used this emoji sticker with a mustache because this is basically my face. It was just kind of like, well, what? Because we were in clinic, and we were practicing for, what was it, for our area-specific curettes. It doesn't matter what what instrument it was, but our professors like pop in and out of our cubicles and my professor walks by my cubicle and she's like, oh, from here, it looks like you're doing a good job. And I was like, well, thank you. And then she goes, well, let me actually see if you're doing it right. And I was like, well, okay. Cause like, I'm not combative in class. Like you're the professor, I'm the student, I'm respectful of that relationship. So I'm not going to be like, what the fuck? Um, so she comes over to me, she looks at how my, how I'm ergonomically seated. So basically like I'm not hunched over and my back is straight. My wrists are all straight and I'm like in the teeth and the tools are all adapted to the teeth and whatever. And so she looks and she goes, Oh, that's very good. And I was like, well, thank you. And she goes, so you talk a lot, but you know what you're doing. And I was like, what, what, huh? Like she just said that, dropped a bomb in my cubicle and then walked out. And I was like, is that, was that a compliment? That, that was, uh, was that, was that, I'm like, that was the most backhanded compliment I've ever received in my life. And I feel like I've received some pretty backhanded compliments, but I was like, what? And my partner, she's just like, who's my patient? And she was like, what did she just say? I'm like, I don't know, but you heard that, right? So I was like, thank you, I guess. And then I just shout across the cubicle. I'm like, at least it's not the other way around. And she goes, what, if you were quiet? And I was like, fair enough. So, I mean, I don't know. But at least I know what I'm doing. I'm just glad I knew what I was doing. Because, like, nothing is more embarrassing than teachers thinking about you a certain way. And then also having that assumption of you confirmed that you don't know what you're doing. So, ha! Love that. So then after that, I went to Starbucks because your girl was still super tired. Don't forget the theme of this week, according to my half box, and the sidebar is ugh. So I went to Starbucks and I got a toasted white mocha, which is just the best thing ever, but I need to stop drinking it because I cut out sugar from my diet. Not sugar, not like cut it out from my diet, but I cut out sugar from my coffee for a reason. Also today in clinic, which is like a week after this, this Wednesday, I, my partner found a cavity in my mouth that's like stained brown and it's really disgusting and scary. And my professor's like, do you eat sweets? And I'm like, not a lot. But I was like, crap, I started drinking all those like holly jolly coffees again. And I'm like, boom, cavity. Oh, such is my life. It's really gross looking, but also kind of cool looking. So yeah, after that, I had to go to the doctor to follow up on some blood work which all came out fine. And then after that, I went, okay, well, so I did this little thing where I cut one of the tall bougie day extenders in half to make this like half day extender. So it's like a, a half box size extender. I put down study day on top of that because I came, when I came home, I just studied the whole day because I had a quiz in oral anatomy the next day. 
So I put that down and then I opened it up because I did, after the doctor, I did run some errands, which was basically just going to the dollar store and to Party City to buy gift wrap stuff for all of my holiday presents. Um, there's not a lot this year and I think I'm okay with it. I kind of prefer it. I don't see the point of getting just like everyone a gift for the sake of getting them a gift. Hopefully people know how much I care about them and they don't need a gift from me to let them know. But like there are certain people in my life who I wanted to give, get gifts for. And then there's certain people in my life who are just too bougie for me. And I'm not even talking about Andrea. <laughs> where because I got Andrea a gift where like they just do like they just do a rich boy for me and if they're watching this and listening to this yeah I'm talking about you in a very playful way for anyone who's misconstruing my sarcasm for aggression and being funny if it's not translating that's my bad <laughs> but yeah I actually like ended up wrapping all of my presents they're all done they're all waiting to be handed out so I'm excited for that actually they're not all wrapped I'm lying crap <laughs> so after that my sister brought home bubble tea for me and I watched gotta kick it up while I finished some of my notes because my professor was expecting them for me this is the same one who thinks I am disorganized and I was like can I show you my life because my life is just organization but I like I said I'm not combative if you want notes for me I'll give you my notes but yeah, basically finishing my notes and then doing some more studying of the tooth. Then I had my bridesmaids dress delivered, which is so pretty and it's a little too snug. But like I'm kind of, okay, it's like not the greatest idea, but it's like a little snug. But I kind of need to lose a little bit of weight. And if I lose a little bit of weight, then I'll fit in the dress. Like I, I genuinely think I do need to lose a little bit of weight. <laughs> because I packed on like a little bit in my thighs but it, it doesn't matter where I lost the weight it just means I just need to like exercise a little bit and like getting a large would just it would just be a little too like loose so I'm thinking this is I have till July so by then I should fit the dress and I also need to go to the gym for my mental health I think I mentioned this last week I just need to go I need to like pump some endorphins into my body in like the most healthy way possible so yeah, after my bridesmaid dress was delivered, the last thing I marked for Wednesday was that I started my third tray of my second round of Invisalign. Woohoo! And I'm supposed to switch my tray out today, so I need to remember because I almost forgot. So yeah, I'm just going to move on to Thursday. On Thursday, I had my oral anatomy quiz, and we spent like seven minutes on one question for quizzes in this class because like you guys care. I know like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, we use like a clicker system. So instead of them giving you a paper, she puts the questions up on the PowerPoint and then you go one by one with the whole class and you answer on your clicker. Then when she gets the answer from everybody, she moves on to the next question. So I don't think I've ever mentioned it, but like I have attention deficit disorder. My mom tells me to stop telling people, but like just plainly, that's what I've got. And so we get to question number two. I read it thoughtfully. I answer it carefully and I sit down Well, I'm sitting down the whole time. And then we're waiting. We're waiting for everyone to answer and we're waiting and we're waiting. And then I think it was like a solid 10 minutes of just waiting. And she, it was a true and false question as well. Just saying. So she's like, okay, after 10 minutes, I'm going to give it four more minutes. And I was like, are you kidding me? My neck started twitching. My foot started shaking. You can ask the girl sitting next to me because she was like, what, what, what is happening over here? Because like, I needed her to move on to the next question. Like I could not just sit there in anticipation of what the next question was going to be, which like explains to you why I finished my quizzes and my tests so darn quickly. Cause like, I read it, I, I like, I read it, I underline words, I underline keywords to make sure I'm reading the question carefully, but still like, oh my God, who spends like seven minutes on one true and false question? It was just a lot. I thought I'd tell you that little anecdote. Ooh, my hand is numb. Ooh, it's really numb. Um, then after that, I went to Shake Shack with a classmate of mine, and then I went to Starbucks. Oh, this just begins the bad weekend of eating. I ate like crap all weekend. Um, went to Shake Shack and then I needed Starbucks because again, I was tired. The, ugh, let's reference back to that. And then, um, we ended up going to a SADA meeting, which is the student associ association of, wait, what is it? Student, uh, I don't know. Something, something dental hygiene association. 
Student something dental hygiene association. I know one of you is gonna know it, so um, I just know it as SADA. So we talked about like different um, avenues for dental hygiene, like what we can do with our license and things like that. I'm kind of interested in forensic dental hygiene, but you do that on the side with your clinic work. But I'm genuinely just interested in that. And then we have to go to like dental conventions. And there's one in New Orleans and everyone in my class is trying to come through for that. So I'm excited. And it's just nice to be in like a field. I mean, I was excited to be in the sticker field. Like that was fun. But like psychology, I was just interested in as a topic, but not something I wanted to do. So it's kind of cool to be in dental hygiene and like genuinely excited about doing that. <laughs> that was very convincing. There was a lot of oomph in that sentence, but I don't know. I'm just glad that I picked dental hygiene and it's not just something that I'm going to be doing just to get a paycheck. Although that's kind of where I was with that. Like I thought I could like, this is what I could do and get that paycheck. Like I don't want to live to work. Wait. Yeah. I don't want to live to work. I want to work to live. If that makes any sense. Ooh, someone put that on a journaling card. Ooh, I have my hand in the air. Um, so yeah, after the SADA meeting, I went home and I did a little grocery run because I wanted to make chili. There's no reason. I just wanted to make chili. Um, and I found out my iron was low anyway, so I was like, perfect. So then I made chili, and then I did that half box situation again because there was just like a little extra. My, my day was a little extra filled with to-dos. So I put down a half box that said The Poof Point and Cadet Kelly because more DCOMs love Disney+. Plus. I'm going to get through like every DCAM. I'm going to get through every DCAM if it kills me. Um, and then underneath the little half box, I put wrap gifts. And then fill out the um, bridal shower card that I got for my friend, which my mom didn't approve of, but I thought it was hilarious. And thankfully, Gabby found it funny too. And then I got a new film camera delivered. My old film camera, which is like a legit kind of expensive one, is broken. And it was going to be really expensive to fix it. But my little cousin had a like digital film camera that she brought to her with Mexico and I really liked it and I found it for $20. So I bought that and it was delivered and I'm really excited to use it. And then I spent the rest of the night studying because what I, I like I was actually surprised when I was pulling out all these stickers. Um, I had I didn't plan like I didn't put down these stickers until Tuesday of Thanksgiving week. So to see the amount of times I pulled study was kind of like, oh my God, but also I was very proud of myself. So I'm going to pat myself on the back for that one. Good on you, Jessica, for studying. It paid off, which I'm glad to say. Glad to say it paid off and not that it didn't because that would suck. My hand is really numb holding my laptop. Uh, it feels kind of funny. So anyway, now moving on to Friday on Friday. I had to originally go observe a senior in the senior clinic and the senior clinic, senior clinic, senior clinic, senior clinic, um, theirs starts at, basically they have to be there at 7.30 in the morning. And I was like, ugh, but it's for a report I have to do for, for one of my classes. So I was like, I need to get it done. And I was just thankful I found a senior who was really nice and like we vibed off each other. So that was great. But for some reason they just canceled all of senior clinic on that day. Is my phone ringing? No, it's not ringing. It just vibrated. Who's texting me? My mom. Can she hear me? Grand opening ramen. Ooh, they're opening ramen next to me. That's exciting. Okay, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So the observation, they completely canceled all of senior clinic. So um, the senior I was going to observe was like, yeah, we can't do it. Well, obviously, we can't do it. Like, I can't observe her because there's nothing to observe. Um, and while I was kind of like bummed because I was like, crap, I have to find a new senior or have to reschedule with her before Thanksgiving because my report is due after Thanksgiving. Um, but I was just really excited that I got to sleep in. <laughs> like, I was so tired. And I was just like, do I get to sleep? Like, I just get to sleep. That's that's fine. We'll figure it out. I was like, if anything, like I could just ask someone about their experience. Although I was really looking forward to getting to see what the seniors do. And they do a lot. Um... But, like, if I didn't have the time, like, now I feel like some a lot of the exams have ended. Like, we still have finals to look forward to. Woohoo! But um, I just kind of felt like all the basic exams ended, and then I forgot that I have all this homework and these papers do, which sucks. Again. Again? Why did I say again? Anyway, so after that, I put in that I watched Beautiful World of Shane Dawson, which actually didn't come out till the Saturday 
and I was actually supposed to write YouTube binge on this on this little section right here. So I ended up fixing that in a little bit. Well, actually, after I finished writing in the day, and then I spent some time planning. I was pulling um, stickers for this week. So I ended up pulling like Monday through Thursday. And then I went to go pick up my prescription because the doctor made out some prescriptions for me, which I've been really bad at taking. They're not antibiotics, but I really do need to be taking them. One of them is an iron pill that makes my stomach hurt so bad, but um, I just need to eat crackers with it. But I've just genuinely been forgetting to take them and I need to because there's a reason they are prescribed to me. Uh, what else? Oh, I also picked up some film to for my camera, and then there was something else I bought. What did I buy? I don't remember. There's something I bought at CVS, but I honestly can't remember what it was. So my prescription and the film. Oh, and a battery for my camera, because my camera didn't come with a battery, and I was like, is this normal? Like, I was texting my cousin, and I was like, can I come see your camera? Because mine, for some reason, is working. And she was like, why would you need to see my camera? She's like, I'm like, it won't turn on for some reason. I think it's broken. And she was like, well, is there a battery in it? And I went, no. <laughs> so then after that, I tried to study, because my friend Anissa was driving down from upstate to go to the bridal shower over the weekend, so she was going to stay with me. So I did a little bit of studying and then me and my sister were goofing around while she was getting ready to go to a party um, and we were like playing on TikTok and I think I mentioned last week that I'm kind of obsessed with Teen Beach Movie, not like thoroughly obsessed, but the music is really funny and there was like one TikTok audio that was like a dance and I was just like, every time I have to study is when I'm like always on TikTok because it's just so entertaining and like eases my brain. It like makes it feel good. It's so nice. So um, we made like a TikTok and then she duetted it, which like if you don't know what that means, I don't have time to explain it. Like we got to get with the Gen Zers. Is that what they are? Are we Gen Z? No, the, no we got to get with the Gen Zers. We got to be up to date and be a cool kid. Anyway, so that was just really fun. And then after that, Anissa showed up and I was like, Anissa in New York City. And we went to go get Buffalo Wild Wings. Then we had coffee at midnight, which was just, you know, like a brilliant idea. And that was my Friday, and here I am fixing my little boo-boo um, to put you to binge instead of The Beautiful World of Jeffree Star because it had not come out yet. Then moving on to a Saturday, we had a bacon, egg, and cheese for breakfast because they don't have them where Anissa is anymore, so I thought it would be really fun, and then I didn't have to cook. I would have cooked, but like something about a bacon, egg, and cheese with salt, pepper, ketchup just always sounds delicious. Then we went to the mall. And we did some shopping. We went to Lush. And then we spent a lot of time at Barnes & Noble. Because, like, I needed more books. And just wait till next week. I think I mentioned it already. Book outlet. Like, 16 books. Did I mention that here? Oh, my God. I'm losing my mind. Anyway. So, we went to Barnes & Noble. And I bought two books. That was it. Even though, like, the weekend before, I bought four books. There are currently 44 books in my to-be-read list. That's insane. That's a problem. And the problem is not that I'm buying these books. The problem is that I don't have time to read them. And I desperately want to. So we just hung out in Barnes & Noble. And um, we were in like the self, self, it's not the self-help section. It's like the spiritual one with like palmistry and witchcraft books. Which some witchcraft books scare me even. And it's just like a lot of complicated ingredients to collect sometimes. So I'm just like, I'm going to just look at you, but I won't buy you. But I really like want to buy a lot of the witchcraft books because it looks cool. I wish there was one that was just like not a spell book, but or like not a spell or a potion book, but just like information about the history. Like there was one book I bought that's like the history of witches and it was just not great. It was okay. But I want like just like like the history of witches and occults and like things like that. Like I'm very genuinely interested in that. And I like Googling is not very comprehensive. Like I just end up jumping around the place. So if you have a recommendation, a recommendation, recommendation, if you have a recommendation, just go ahead and send it my way because like I'm genuinely looking. Um, so then after that, we went to Hot Pot with my mom, which like. We had, oh, we had bubble tea in between there. Why didn't I mark it? So we had bubble tea in between there while we were at the mall. And then we went to Hot Pot. And I'm telling you, like, I kept having, like, the worst stomach aches because, like, I was just, like, for, since, like, Wednesday, I had just been eating utter crap. Um, we went to Hot Pot and it was good. And then I put down the beautiful world of Shane Dawson um, viewing down there after the Hot Pot. I'm like, why am I over explaining this? 
Then me and Anissa were just like hanging out in my room and watching. I showed her Dairy Girls, which is a show I've talked about a lot of times on my channel. And she, Anissa was the one who introduced me to The Inbetweeners, which is another like UK show. The Inbetweeners? Yes. The Inbetweeners. And I said that Dairy Girls was very similar to that. Um, except it's just like with girls, but like the humor and it's all the same. And she really enjoyed it, which made me so happy because I feel like I can't like really share Dairy Girls with anyone. Um, most of my friends would rather die. And then, um, Vicky, my sister can't understand the accents, which is just really funny. But like her attention span is shot when it comes to viewing movies and TV shows and things like that. So yeah, we watched Dairy Girls and then we just binge watched movies on Disney+. Plus. We watched, I think we watched Phantom of the Megaplex and then Rip Girls, which I had never watched before. And it was really cute. I liked it a lot. It was sweet. And it was in Hawaii. Now I want to go to Hawaii and learn how to surf. But it was great. So then last but not least, moving on to Sunday. Why do I feel like I've been here for an eternity? But it was my friend Gabby's bridal shower. She was my friend from middle school and high school. And she getting married. Also, Anissa's getting married. So, like, I highly salute and thank them for making 2020 a year I go broke because of weddings. I'm already broke. But I'm going to go into debt. Not really. But, you know, joking. <laughs> um, so, the first thing we did was eat breakfast. But then also get ready and get dressed. It was such a gloomy day outside. And it was just pouring rain. And we were in these like really cute floral outfits with no stockings on. Like mine was like a high-low dress with like a cape situation. And it was so cold. And I was like, are we going to be underdressed for this? But it was it was just really funny. We were just getting ready together. It was nice. And then we went to Gabby's bridal shower, which I didn't know what a bridal shower was. Like I didn't get the point of it. I Googled it as I do best. Um, but it was really fun. There was a lot of games. And one thing I marked after the bridal shower was that I guessed the exact amount of kisses. So they did one of those things where they put, um, Hershey kisses into a bowl and they were like, guess how many kisses are in here. And then if you guess the right amount, you win a prize. And so I, me, Anissa, and one of Gabby's friends from college, we were like trying to figure out what the number would be and I was just like pretending to make it like mathematically and like just like count like see how big the kiss was long down side all that and then um the two of them made their guess and then I was like there's got to be like 300 in here like I'm thinking 300 because one of the oh oh my god they're talking their horn outside one of them said 400 one of them said like 200 and I was like it's really low so I was like I think it's gonna be like I think it's like around 300 and then I'm like, maybe like 315, something about 315 sounds right. And then I was like, oh, you know, it'd be cute because they're getting married on March 28th. Like there's, pro I'm going to put that my guess is 328 kisses. Lo and behold, I'm super smart and logical because that was the exact number of kisses. And it was really funny because I walked out of the bathroom when all her sisters were looking at all of the slips. And then there was one slip that was different from the rest and it said 322 and I thought that was just the slip that they kept to remind themselves of how many kisses were in there and it said 322. I think did I just say that? Um, so I went to Gabby's mom and I was like, oh, you know, it would have been really cute if you said that there was 328 kisses in there. Like, cause it's like 328 and she's like, yeah, that's how many we put in there. And I was like, oh. I'm so smart. So I felt like marking it because I had the space and I was very impressed with myself. So then after the bridal shower ended, it was around like evening time. I watched the Drag Race UK finale. Very, very, very happy with who won. Um, and then I had to prep my nails for clinic. So I had to, of course, file them down and cut, well, cut them and then file them and all that good stuff because they are always just way too long. And then I spent the night binge watching YouTube videos, but also studying because I had two exams on one day and only two more days to study for them. So I was cramming as much as I could, especially because um, I moved my senior clinic observation to Monday, which meant my day would be from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., which is, you know, is just always super duper lovely. Dang it, I beat my planner again. I always feel like I'm not, like, sometimes I'm just really behind when I'm talking. When I'm talking, yes. Like, my planner is, I'm behind and my planner's ahead. Like, I always feel like it's like that for just, like, these last two days. I've just been beating my planner. So I'm going to go ahead and fill everything out, and then I'll be back to show you the final spread.
Remember what I said about dead air? Well, yeah, I can't, I can't watch. And I know I'm about to mess up because I put study next to YouTube and did you not see the little hands go, ah! So I had to move the study to above the YouTube binge. Like, mm. I also was watching the Cardi B uh, Vogue A Bazillion Questions video. And it's so precious. So if you haven't seen that and you like Cardi, go watch it because it's real cute. Um, so yeah, I fixed that. How am I not done yet? That's like a right faster. Go, go, go. Go, come on, YouTube, and swoop, binge, and ta-da, here is the week in full, and a little wiggle for you, and a little flap reveal, ooh, ooh la la, look at that, look at that little teddy shirt I got, teddy bear, look at that, oh, oh yeah, I taped it down because it was getting in my way, <laughs> look at that teddy bear sweater that I got going on. So yeah, here is my season two sparkle week in full. It is glorious. It is super duper pink and it is a perfect kit, I think, to transition from the week before into Thanksgiving and then boom, all the holly jolly spreads. I just am so excited and I can't wait. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. She's back. She's back.